Hey, welcome to Uber Pro Tutorials. I'm Jack, your host. This show is about me and my obsession with movie memorabilia, and this week I will show you how to make a flail. The term flail is used to describe a weapon whose defining characteristics is that it involves a separate striking head attached to a handle by a flexible rope, strap, or chain. Well, sounds vicious enough for me. Let's make one. Why make one when we can make two? Let's make one. I got some chain here. I've got a nice axe head that I think I'm gonna attach to the end of the chain. And look at all this other crap. Just cause you guys ask, not only am I gonna make a real flail, but in part two I'm gonna make a plastic one you can hit your friends with that's gonna look just like the original. I really hope this works. <laughs> Making this flail is gonna be really easy. Let's get rid of this. There's all the plastic crap. I've got a chain. I'm gonna stick it in here. I'll make a handle. And then I've got a flail. How easy is that? Give me a minute. I like hockey tape. It's really strong and durable. You can pretty much do anything with hockey tape. This guy's crazy. Look what he's doing. He's making an axe on a chain. Why aren't axes put on chains? I mean, they'd be way more badass looking in the, in the store. That was easy. Maybe I'll make a little bit of a handle. I'm gonna just tape up the last four links in hockey tape. Hockey tape's easy too. If you wear it out, you can just add more. Look at this. This is incredible. Now I have a handle and a filet. This doesn't have to be welded. This doesn't have to be like incredibly difficult because chances are you're not gonna be swinging this around at a ma very many things. So look, I've now got my own filet. It's a chain, it's got a hatchet head on it, and it's got a handle. What more do you want in a flail? This is one you're gonna be using to do all the close-up shots with when you really wanna demonstrate the viciousness of the weapon. I think I'm gonna paint it just a little bit. For that, I'm gonna use some silver spray paint. Don't worry, I'm not getting paid to say this, but Krillon seems to like just paint everything in 15 minutes. I don't wanna paint the black tape, so I'm gonna cover up the, with painter's tape. The advantages of doing it afterwards is that you have a handle you can hold on to while you're painting. Just covering up my hockey tape. I can tell you why I'm painting this in a minute. If I paint it, then my replica will look more like it. Not, I'm not trying to paint this to make this look more realistic because it really doesn't get any more realistic than actually making the bloody thing. I'm gonna paint this so that it's easier to make a copy of it. That way when I paint the foam one, they're gonna look the same. It's easier to make a foam one look more like a real one if the real one looks just a little bit cartoony. Paint. This one seems to have come out pretty nice. Take the painter's tape off this to reveal what I've accomplished. Now I'm excited. Dude, look at this thing. Is this not awesome? I don't even know how I can swing this around safely. <laughs> I made a flail. Anyway, that's what it looks like. This is a perfect tool to add to the arsenal for a zombie apocalypse, which is going to be happening on October 31st this year. Hey, welcome to Uber Pro Tutorials. This show is about me and movies and top stuff and things that matter to me today. No, that's Philip DeFranco. Wait a minute. Uber Pro? Why did I name it Uber Pro? What a stupid name. Click here to see a zombie killing baseball bat with nails in it. Click here to check out how you can make a flail out of foam.